that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Welcome back. Alright, I think I figured out a build that that is pretty good. I mean, I, I tried it before, but I wanted to do a build without uh, the next set's uh, help. But I think you need, you're going to need that tuner that's going to come out next set. Because it's really helpful. Like, it, it's the level 3, the one that gets, uh, it's a crisp run. So what you do is, uh, you, you special summon a banished non-tuner, and you just, you can secret during their turn. So that's why it's really good, because if you, if you, if you remember, if you're aware of frogs, or totally awesome with Swap Frog, uh, you're going to be using Rolling Totem to banish a frog, and special Rolling Totem. So then, uh, what the, the Chris Run Tuner from next set does, it's, it brings that, that, whatever frog you banish, it brings it back and puts it back to the deck. So you just keep recycling it. So that's really, really good. And especially with Starlight Junction, if you, if ideally, what you want to do, is you want to open up this Supply Squad and, and, uh, Chris Run Non-Tuner and, uh, uh, totally awesome just setup. And you just get your advantage off that, like, You'll be you have a negation and you have something to bounce on their turn. Like it's a disruption. You just bounce whatever it is that might be some of might, that might be a threat. And it's like so they either gotta open up Twin Twister or somehow to get rid of this or something to just get rid of whatever it is. But then you have totally awesome to negate that. And then you just shuffle anything any card that controls to their deck. So that's what's really good. So it's pretty much if you're top decking and this is on the field along with Supply Squad, that's like a good setup already. It's um, it, it seems like it's a decent uh, effort. I, I mean, this is the best I could I could think of of this deck working. So I need I need help with the frogs, and then I need the, this guy. This is the tune I'm talking about. This guy gets your frogs back, and it, not necessarily your frogs, but anything pretty much. Any any of your banished, like you'll get your do frog ideally right here, and you just recycle it, it goes into the, into the deck. So that's why that's why it's really good. And plus, crystals are all water, so they work really well with swap frog, and it just it just felt like it, 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 I needed to work. I mean, I had a previous build that I did before, but then I wanted to make just like a a, like a, just a pure Christron, but it was not fast enough. It needed to be combined with something. I needed some help, so I think the frogs just help help that part. Just help to fill in that part because it was just it just went really really good. And this duel I think can showcase the, how grindy this deck can be because. Like I, I was, I was not expecting to to pull this out because this is this is crazy. Like he has a bunch of okay, this one I'm not sure. What, like they only gate. This one's like a book of moon during its first turn. So it's like so much disruption that I I, I managed to pull through. And, I, and he opened it with a dweller, and I managed to survive that. I was just like, what the heck? Because this, this is what I mean. Like supply squad just it just works really well with the crystals. And that trap card's good too because it can come in handy later. Like just now. So pretty much, if you have this and this set up, it's really good when you're top decking because you're gonna get a, a trap essentially and a draw. So you, you're pretty much not minusing at all. Like that's just really, really good. And ah, uh, this is a great. I can't believe I pulled this off. But yeah, like I, I had to borrow this guy from next set. Like it, it, you can't, you can't. I mean, you can try it without this guy. I'll put the necklace at the end, and you can play without it. But you'll see what I mean. Like you need this guy's really important. The three short turner. But I'm pretty sure, it, I guess you can manage with it, manage without it, but it just gives you that, gives you that versatility of being able to do that. And, and th this is what I mean, the trap card's good, like it just brings all your crystals back, especially this guy, because this guy gets banished, so you can just like, use this effect and then like, use it again next turn, on their turn, because it's, 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 it's just really, really cool. I, I don't know, I mean, this is the best I can come up with. I guess uh, I I hope you guys see get get an idea of how good it can be because it, it has its it has its positives. Um, but the, but one of the things was that like you have to wait for your opponent's turn. So it, the thing about it is you if you op if you don't open up Starlight Junction, you kind of hoping to God that you open up a totally awesome because <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble if you don't. But like like I, I don't know I I guess that that the odds are not with you if that happens. But like. Yeah, he he uh, he ends up rage quitting. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if he exhausted his his. He couldn't get around Cataster, maybe I don't know. But he just he ends up just rage quitting. But uh, I'll put the deck list now. All right, so he, here's the deck list. Okay, so pretty much, uh, th these are your frogs. You want to max out on them because you want to just be able to feature swap, and just have 
an, an infinite uh, amount of frogs to just vanish for more than 100. And then these are the only crystals you play. You only play the, the, the level 3, the one that searches uh, any of these, or this one that um, searches your trap. And uh, like I said, like I, I felt like the 4 star and the, the, the 1 star were a bit odd. And especially in this build, like you don't really need it. You can't really go into any. You can't really go into any of them. I mean, I guess you, if you play formula, you can make a formula with this guy. But like, I didn't want to base it off that because you want to draw off this anyways. So pretty much, these are the main ones you want to use. And this one, you play only one of because you it can recycle itself. It goes back into the deck, so you can just keep bringing it out. And two maxi because you you kind of need it. And it's just like Chris Strong are slow as it is, and if you're not going first. This is this is a good option to start off with, and then of course you have your Maria reads just to filter anything. Let's say you open up your all your tuners because sometimes that happens. You open up all your tuners and then like oh crap. But luckily you have this, and this will help you filter your hand and just it'll deck thin as well. And uh, this is your ace. This is your ace pretty much right here. You want to set up these two, and preferably you want to open up multiples of these. This is the, to make these guys their destruction even better. You draw more, and it just makes it really cool. And then Twin Twister, you just need Twin Twister because any any and this is like a synchro combo deck, so you any back row you just want to get rid of it. And you don't mind discarding any of this, like you don't really mind. And then the <clears throat> and then these guys just brings back any of your banished uh, crystals. So essentially, you you want to bring back this guy because this guy get banished, and then. You're gonna want synchro again, so you just bring it back during their turn and synchro, or just bring back any of these, anyways, and, and, and any Chris run, and uh, that's super cool. So the extra deck, you can mess around with it. This is just what I was going into. What I noticed, like when I was testing it, it's the most. This is the what I, I was going into the most, um, and I felt like I, I was hesitant on this guy, but I think you do need you need him. <laughs> you do need him. And then armory arm, it, it, I don't really go into this guy, but it's just it's just to, it's just to have it as an option. Cause it's a machine that you can go into at level four, and you can single these two into crystal wing. So that's one of the things I don't know, but yeah, like. I don't know. And then these are those. I was considering these two guys because you can make a five, and then after that you make this guy and this guy, and you make um, sort of warrior. But I, I don't know. I wasn't. I, I don't know. It seemed a bit too situational. And uh, I, at first I was playing these, but I ran into the problem of of drawing all this, and I was oh man, I need to filter my hand, so I, that's why I cut him for this. This is much better. Uh, and then you, you can play strikes if you want to, but I don't know. I just I just felt like this is the best. The, this is the best I can make it flow. But yeah, other than that, it, this is I guess this is this is this is the, the, this is as good as I can probably make it. <laughs> Go ahead and try it out. Uh, uh, sorry for the for the wait, and it took me like a day or two to figure this out, but I think I managed to do it. So if you want to play it, you can you can easily play. All this stuff is out now, minus this guy. But this guy is gonna make all the difference. But you can go ahead and try it without it. But yeah, that's the that, uh, that was crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that's really much, I, I rarely say this, but just um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and comment, like, suggestions. It just it, it just it just it's some, like a motivation type of factor to keep keep doing these videos. But yeah, that that that's that, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching.